Hey, it's Joe Lyons, and in this video on Excel with AutoHotKey, I'm going to demonstrate how you can use my function library to easily look for a value um, in either a column or a row, and then use that as a criteria to delete the entire column or row. So first off, um, definitely watch my other videos about connecting to Excel. I'm going to, I'm going to cheat here and do Excel, so i got to get a handle. So this is my function library here. I can probably handle, here we go, duh. Um, I'll just create Excel, and one is going to connect me to that worksheet, well, to the program, but it's still it's fine. And then I need to Excel underscore, let's see, um, filter, no, we'll probably delete. Delete blank row, delete column based on value. Look at that, it's beautiful. All right, so i got to pass the pointer. Um, then it looks like it's asking me for the range. And so let's say I was on all the headers. Um, I could, I have a function to get all the headers, but um, I'm going to programmatically just do it here. So I'm going to say a one to F one. So that's going to say what, what, where am I looking for the word? Um, put in the comma and then the value is going to be, let's say Joe, right? So I'm going to save it, reload it. Now, when I run it, theoretically, you'll see this because it's going to look through all of these and say, oh, hey, in this range, hey, here was Joe, and it's going to delete this entire column, so we'll lose the fours. So, save, actually, uh, I'm going to copy this um, for now. Uh, yeah, I'll just copy it for now. Hopefully it saves my clipboard. If not, not a big deal. Um, all right, so, now when I run it, there it goes. It, it got rid of the fours, moved everything over. Well, it really found the Joe, moved everything over. Um, see, the problem, not the problem, but um, I can't undo. Things done with auto hotkey in Excel, you can't just undo. So it's important to remember now, if I paste, yeah, well, that's what I was worried about, um, is it loses um, the focus. Excel, the newer version, I just, I freaking hate it. They're, they built in all these safety mechanisms, especially around the clipboard, and they're ridiculous to me. Um, but at least you're safe, I guess, um, from things that I never run into. But anyway, um, all right. So now we're back where we were. Oh, I didn't want to save that. Sorry. And now let's comment that out. And let's just do Excel delete row based on value. Um, and let's say I wanted to look in the first column. Oh, that'd be bad. I should have. Because there's going to delete the <laughs> whatever number I pick, right? Let's um, let's change this to two, three. There. Now let's say um, Excel comma and let's look in a one to a ten, and I'm going to look for what do we want to Let's say fives. Five. You know, I think actually um, I could put it in with quotes or without it. Probably would work fine. So I'm going to save this, reload it, and now when I run it, so we saw the, the fives, which were right in there, just got deleted. Um, just out of curiosity here, let's try sixes without the quotes. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, because AutoHotKey is very good at detecting whether something's a number or a string, it um, you don't have to worry too much about whether you quote it or not. Often it'll, it'll figure it out and, and solve it for you. So... Um, I found this pretty helpful if I was trying to look for a certain thing in a row um, and say, hey, you know what, this, you know, when this thing's present, I don't want the entire row. It's just garbage. So it, um, it's a super, um, these two functions inside Excel or two, um, my Excel function library are simple to use. I'll put the link to the Excel function and a bunch of other links to, sorry, one link to a bunch of other Excel videos um, that can also help you. All right. Have a good night. Thanks.